I was using a spreadsheet and manually having to enter everything, remember everybody's schedule. So I had pieces of paper everywhere with everybody's um, availability on it. So, and it was just juggling and it would just take hours and hours. Setting up took just a, a little bit, but it wasn't hard to learn. So I learned it very quickly and it was very intuitive. Um, and then being able to, to train somebody else how to do it, like Kaylin is masterful at it. Like, I don't think it takes her very long anymore. She'll set it up for a whole semester. Um, and that's a beautiful thing because before it was like every week, you know, having to go in and make some big adjustments. So this has made it a lot more, a lot more, you know, organized and time efficient. When I work is so much better because it texts them and sends them, you know, a notification. Like, so if we do make a change, we don't have to take the extra step and say, hey, I changed your schedule. Assigning the roles, because we do have some instructors that are elementary only or really like high school and are excellent with that. So when they swap a shift, we're swapping like to like. What when I work does, it enables me to set it up a base schedule up for the entire semester. And then if we have more students come in, I can just add students uh, or add instructors rather based on their availability in that system. Um, and then I like it. I like that you can repeat, mm -hmm. you know, it all the way through. Uh, and then I just basically go through, I repeat it, you know, the, um, the schedules through the semester and then holidays, I just go back and, and delete those off. So just very, very easy. Um, I do at least two weeks in advance. Mm -hmm. um, once we get into a little consistency, um, as far as the number of students right, and right. schedules like that, uh, I'll publish a month or two. Weekly, my time is minimal. I may spend 30 minutes, an hour, like on a weekly basis. That's, that's but that's it, you know. And again, we've, we've probably tripled in size, yeah. maybe oh, more, yeah. we've quadrupled in size yeah. since the beginning. All those so, little post-it notes that I yes, used to get. Yes. Oh my gosh, in yeah. the system, and then we we don't lose anything. It's easy to keep track of, and it's right there. And I can do a quick look at the beginning of the week, or the you know the week over the weekend, and just see because it because when I work lights up a different color, you know, when there's a conflict. So if they ask for a time off after I did the schedule, then then I can see it immediately and make the adjustments. For me originally, it was saving that time so I could focus more on making sure their binders were ready and, and that I had appropriate staff working with the kids. Um, I think that to me is really important because um, that relationship piece is so important between the instructor and the student. So making sure I have, yeah, and Kaylin's really good about that too. Like she'll know certain kids need certain instructors. So she's mm -hmm. able to do that. Um, but it freed me up too from having to sit behind my desk working on that to be able, if I want to come teach for a little while, then I can come and be in my happy place versus back behind my desk, you know, working on other things that were tedious and didn't need to be done. So I think it allowed me the freedom to really focus on the kids versus focusing on a schedule. It frees up so much more time to focus on, on what's important, which mm -hmm. is, which is the students. Mm -hmm.